In this video, I'm going to walk you through the basic steps required to solve the first problem in the section working with macroeconomic data. And actually, this problem is essentially the same problem that you're going to see in your second homework. So this is, I think this is the question 26 in homework 2. So, in this question, we are going to compute average labor productivity for the end of each decade and then using these numbers we're going to compute the growth rate of average labor productivity over each decade and then using these growth rates we're going to compute annualized growth rates of average labor productivity. Recall that average labor productivity is simply output over employment and in this question we are given more a specific definition of output we are we need to take output as real gross domestic product and employment as non-farm payroll employment in the last month of the year and in the question in the assignment you are given actually direct linked to these two series GDP you just click on this you're gonna get the GDP series and then just download as Excel similarly employment data is right here download that as well now we have both series I collected both series in one Excel sheet so this is GDP data this is employment data and a little bit of preparation for this question so this part is what I prepared in order to compute average labor productivity I need two series I'm gonna write just collect all the data that I need here so the GDP in the last quarter of 1949 I'm going to go here, GDP last quarter of 1949 is here, and payment in the last month of 1949. Similarly, I copy the values for 1959 so uh, now I have everything I need to compute average labor productivity for these two years which is simply GDP over total employment and I can simply drag this the formula is gonna is gonna update automatically so these are average labor productivity for the end of 1949 and for the end of 1959 then in the next step we are asked to compute average labor the, the growth rate of average labor productivity well over the 1950s average labor growth rate of average labor productivity productivity is going to be simply this minus this this is simple growth rate formula over this so the average labor productivity growth over 1950s is point twenty to 43 or in percent if you want to express this in percentage points it's going to be 22.43 percent finally we are asked to compute annualized growth rate for each decade and we know that the relationship between annualized growth rate which we denote here by small g and the growth rate over decade over the decade which is denoted by capital G is this so this is the relationship between these two growth rates and I know I, I, we already computed capital G and I'm just gonna solve this 
in the expression for small g and I'm gonna get this this is the, the resulting expression for small g and using this formula I can easily compute small g as 1 plus capital G over 1 over 10 minus 1 so 0 0.02 is the annualized growth rate uh, of labor productivity in 1950s before finishing I would like to note, give one quick note in the assignment you are given actually a different slide the, the, the definition of average labor productivity instead of defining labor productivity as simply as GDP over employment you are, you are asked to compute it as a thousand times GDP over employment which is essentially the same definition just the units are different so it's going to be exactly this this but times thousand so it's going to be simply this times thousand so and if you want to change this so here we have five decimals if you want to change this to let's say uh, one decimal you go to format cells number decimal places one and you say okay that's that's it and similarly if you want to express the annualized growth rate as percentage in terms of percentage points you just need to multiply this by hundreds